Good afternoon, guys. So, we're going to pick up Ellie. I actually had a day off during the week because we had a lot of people on vacation this week, so I have to go work Saturday. Um, so, we're going to pick up Ellie. We've had a pretty lazy day. It's been raining and stuff like that, so to get a whole lot of stuff done outside or anything. Um, but it's starting to turn into a nice day, starting to get sunny out, but it looks like it's still a little wet, so we'll probably be stuck inside. We got Jill here. Me. And then we got little Vin in the back. Little Vinny. Little Vinny. <laughs> says, Sorry, Elsa. I didn't get that. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but it says, sorry, Elsa. Ellie has since went and renamed Jill Siri on her phone to be Tar Elsa. So now she refers to her as Elsa all the time. Yeah. And Finn likes to play on the phone, and his favorite thing to do is hold down the button to activate Siri. And so sorry. he does that a lot, and so we always hear, sorry, Elsa. I didn't get that. So it's kind of funny. Can't talk. Yeah, because he doesn't actually say anything to her. Yeah, no. <laughs> so, as a lot of y'all know, tomorrow is election day. Woo! Yay! So, but this is nothing to do with elections or who anybody's voting for or anything like that. But it's one of those things that frustrates me because I've been trying to fix my address for where I need to vote for my current house, where we've been for four, four years, years now, yeah. where I should have been voting for four years now at least. Every election for the past three or four elections, I have voted someplace different. Every time. I don't know why. It just moves me every single time. And this year... He is across town. Literally completely across town. Way across town. Never even lived on that side of town. I don't even know why I'm supposed to go there. So, I don't know how I'm going to manage this. But, I'll figure out something, I guess. But... I just don't get it. Uh, I, I, I filled out voter registration forms. I filled up change address forms. I filled out everything you're supposed to fill out to get this changed. But I just can't get it to work. I don't know why. We're just going to have to do that. So I'm going to have to make do with what we got. So. Alright, so Because now, it's important to vote. Yes. Yes, it very much is. So. At least for presidential elections. For sure. And in every election, you it really is important. Should vote. Every election, you really should but be involved. I I know I slack. Yeah. On the smaller elections, I don't know why. I just do. It's something I need to work on. I, I do too. I think it's just because there's so many of them. I think so. It's hard to keep up with the people, and everybody's running for something in some place, and then you don't know who you have to figure out who everybody is, and then try to find time to get there. It, it is. They don't make it as easy a process. I understand they can't just put it online because it'd be too easy to be I think like small elections should packed be online. and modified and stuff like that. I think small yeah. ones should be online. But it, 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 they make it way too difficult, in my opinion. I mean, and no, it, it's not that hard, but like, this is just an example of like how I gotta go to all three different places the last three time elections. So it's like, why? I haven't done anything different. I've been living at the same address for the last four years, and the time before that we were living at the other address. Yeah, for, which is in the same district. Which is in the same district for yeah. like another four years. I've been voting at the same place for about eight years. <laughs> yeah, I can't even get to the, bus, the same place with my wife, so it's very frustrating. So, but we're gonna pick up Ellie here in a second, and then we're gonna maybe go do something. No, I'm not dressed. I'm wearing pajamas. She's not wearing pajamas. They're in pajama pants. No, that's that's your normal everyday pants. I don't wear these every day. I did when I was pregnant, but I'm not, I don't wear them now. <laughs> now it's strictly athletic shorts and yoga pants, but these are pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go home and change so she'll can go out. I don't want to fancy. Uh, my sister's moving today. I'm supposed to be helping her, but she hasn't texted me yet. No, oh, well maybe we should get in touch with her. I don't feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> so. I love you, Judith. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so yesterday when we were uh, we went to the game preserve in he in Houston and so they have an Asian market there. And I love going I to I didn't it. quite get that. But I get love getting this one drink there. It's called Grape Drink <laughs> with Pulp. It's very subtle. <laughs> it's very subtle what it is. You, they they gotta really hide what you're gonna be getting yourself into. But it is so good. I love it. So, and I finally think I got Jill convinced to try some. Only because it smells like communion. 
It smells really good. <laughs> so, okay, what is it? It's grape drink with pulp. <laughs> it <clearly tells laughs> I you know, what it is. but is it like, is it like grape soda, or is it like grape juice? I think grape juice. Okay, so like Welch's kind of, but with pulp. No, it's um, the Great Value Walmart brand grape juice. I don't know what kind of grape juice it tastes like. It's so obnoxious. <laughs> good. <laughs> it's kind of sour, but it is good. But it reminds me of communion when I was a kid. <laughs> so, but anyway, so if you ever see yourself at an Asian market, get grape, grape drink. drink with pulp. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're gonna actually, Jill's sister Judith is moving, so we're gonna help her move. And move some stuff in and everything like that. So, got Jay here. Hello. And Cameron. Cameron. Hi. Hi. So, we're I'll helping them move and get some stuff done. Yeah. All right. So we got Judith and Cameron pretty much moved in. All their big stuff, anyway. We tried to start them back on doing some boxes and stuff like that, but I don't know. It feels it feels weird going through and like putting other people's clothes away. But, uh. All right, so we're here. We're gonna eat lunch, or dinner, I'm sorry. We eat some dinner at the Chinese buffet. So we got Ellie here, and Finn, who is trying to escape. I already escaped. Ellie, get back. <laughs> no, I'm just on my chair. I'm just walking up the road. <laughs> He hates being in high chairs. He just wants to escape from them every time. They don't need to walk on the stones. Why don't you walk on the table? Alright, so we just got done eating. And I've got a question for you guys. No, that's a problem. Don't really bother me none. But for those of y'all who watch with kids, do y'all have a problem of like y'all go someplace and people want to take your kid? It mostly happens at Chinese restaurants. Yeah, I've noticed that. It's weird. So, but they always take our kid and board them and play with them. It's really fun. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. But there is like, nothing wrong with it. They, they took them and was holding them over their fish pond. <laughs> over and the koi pond. Over the koi pond. And Finn wanted the fish so bad. <laughs> he kept like trying he to jump He was on. like pulling, on, grabbing on, trying to pull himself out of their hands to get into the fish pond. <laughs> to get hold of one of those fish. So... It was really funny. Do y'all? Finn put his finger in. Yeah, they were Finn. They were Finn was putting his finger in. They let him put his finger in the tank. So, so but anyway. He did get his finger off. Bit off. Yeah. And he just had four fingers. If Michael off. Scott can make it out of the koi pond, I think Finn's <laughs> fingers are okay. So, we're gonna go home. Put Finn to bed. Maybe, maybe if Ellie wants to, we might play a game. Let's see. Alright, good evening guys. So we're going to be playing a game that we like to play here called Animal Stacking. Or Animal Upon Animal is we what's called. It we call it Animal Stacking. <laughs> so, but it's a really fun game. So if you, the object is, you have this little alligator, or crocodile in the middle, and you take this dice right here, and you roll it. If you get one, stack one animal. Two, you stack two animals. The hand, you give the animal to somebody else and let them put it up there. Or the question mark, which means you, you let ask somebody else choose your animal. Exactly right. You let somebody else pick what animal you put it on. And then the alligator, which means you just put one at the beginning or the end. So the object is you take your little animals. You got monkeys, you got penguins, toucans. This thing. What was this? We, we figured it out. It's a dinosaur. It's that lizard that runs in the water. Yeah, it's like a lizard or something. Um, and then it's like a, a porcupine. So, you take the animals, and then you stack them on top of the alligator. If they fall off, you take the animals that fall off. If they don't fall off, then it's the next person's turn. So it's that easy. So, not too hard to play. Ellie likes this game, right? Mm-hmm. And it's fun for parents, too. And that's one of the things we like to look for in games for kids, is like... 
games that are fun for the kids and the parents because there's so many kids games that are just like boring. You just dread when your kids say they want to play them. So that's why. I don't why. like Mousetrap, but I love Mousetrap. It's not that we don't like that. Yeah, it's just so much to it's set up, and she just wants to set the to trap it right. and everything. So it's no, I, I am it's missing. hard for games like that, <laughs> like shoots and ladders and stuff like that. You just get bored playing those after enough times. So I mean, I they're fun every the once in a while. Game. Do what, baby? I hate the Elmo game. You hate the, the Elmo, Elmo game? game? Mm -hmm. What Elmo game? The one with the slide and oh, the ladders. Shoots and ladders with Elmo. <laughs> okay, well, we'll get rid of that game. We're looking any great and grab some games. So perfect. We're going to start a pile of games to get rid of. killing me. Well, we'll it's, get rid of it. That Elmo game is boring me. I get bored when it's my turn because when I slide down the slide, I go like this. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to die. Did you hear her a while ago? No. I said, Ellie, you don't play it right. And she goes, I play it amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyways, so we're going to play this. So, uh, and then it's probably going to be time for bed. So let's go ahead and finish this up. Alright, so I don't know if that'll make it, but <laughs> Ellie just blew the animal stack down. So, needless to say, we're ending the game early, and Ellie's gonna go to bed now. So, she did it maliciously. Yeah, she, she did it maliciously. It, it wasn't she was silly. just being silly. She, she did said, it. You're gonna lose, and then she blew it down. Okay, so, what happened? I was putting the thing on, and she said that. Uh, she goes, you're gonna lose, and then she blew it over. So, it sounds very shallow. I get it. Like, I get it. It just sounds stupid, because she's five. But we hold her to a higher standard than that. And yeah. she knows better. She knows better. Yeah. And, and, I mean, she literally did just intentionally to mess her up. And so that's she pretty was mean. joking that's that nice. she was gonna blow it down earlier. Yeah, she was And I specifically said, do not do that. That is mean. Yeah, she was joking about blowing it earlier. earlier. And then she really did it. So, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and end today's vlog. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. Leave comments. And I'm gonna talk to Jill about doing something maybe from now on, about for people. So, but if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, and we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.